guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's doing good out there today. Thanks for tuning back in. And Elijah and I are down at the park today. He wanted to go launch his boat, so. You launching your boat there? Huh? Yeah. Look, see that you can say hi? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, he's launching his boat down here at the park today, and I was gonna have to take this opportunity to do today's video. And what I wanted to do today is I wanted to sort of follow up on the video I did yesterday on the modifying of the cork frogs, because I got thinking about it a little bit. And uh, I'm really excited about uh, Uncle Josh getting going again on the pork frog. You know, they've been out of business for several years now, um, getting back into it a little bit, and I'm really excited to see what's gonna come out of that. And the uh, question I want to pose today is um, the fact is pork frogs going to start out producing plastics, uh, at least in the short term, when, when everything starts to get back into swing, as far as when they start producing, you know, a lot of different options as far as sizes, colors, and that type of stuff. Sort of wanted to have a little talk about that, um, give you guys my opinion on it. So, um, First of all, I think one of the big things to remember is that, you know, fish get conditioned real quick to certain profiles, certain actions, that type of stuff in any type of lure. And I think what's happened over the past um, seven or eight years in particular is that bass have really got conditioned to a lot of like the rage craw type trailers and some of the plastic chunks that are common out there. Um, it seems like to me the last three or four years, you've had a lot of guys go to the more twin tail rage tarp type trailers on a jig over the old style pork type the pork design or the pork uh they're plastic but they're pork style type trailers um more of the old school and i think a lot of that is that uh they just see a lot of p other people using it but there's a time and place for both there's a time for the pork the frog style trailers and there's a time for the uh the, tw the twin tails just depends on the a lot of different variables. We'll talk about that later, but it's personality of fish, water clarity, uh, water temperature, a lot of variables to that. But specifically what I want to talk about is this resurgence in pork going to be like the next big thing in fishing. And I'm here to say, say that I think the potential is there for it to be so. And the, when I say the potential, what I'm talking about is it depends on the product that they put out. If they are able to use some type of new technology in designing the pork as far as not necessarily the style of it, but as far as the profile, the design, that type of stuff for the pork and the colors that come with it, I definitely think there's a good possibility. If they can figure out some way to be a little bit more creative with dyes, have some two-tone colored frogs like they did with the old black and blue ones, but even take it to the next level, I can see how over the next three or four years, that uh, pork would just be, everybody would start using it again because there's a lot of uh, advantages to pork. I have just seen when you're on any type of a jig bite and you've got those fish that are, uh, you know, bigger and more aggressive, I've never seen a time that pork did not outproduce plastic back when pork was, you know, still being made like that. <clears throat> there's just something about it. I can't really explain it. I think it's a combination of the of the, the smell, the taste, uh, you know, just the way it works in the water. There's a lot of different things. The color, the color of pork is a lot different than trailers that you see today because most of the soft plastic jig trailers you guys see today, it's usually some type of a green pumpkin variety or some type of a black and blue. Those are the predominant colors. And when you have a pork frog that is colored and dyed with pork, it gives that bait a different look. It gives it a different glow in the water. And you combine that with the natural taste and smell of it, something that's just a little bit more real than plastic, the action of it, whatever it is. Um, it's, it's my favorite jig trailer by far to use. Um, not that I'm saying that plastic doesn't have a part because there's a lot of times that plastic will outproduce pork in certain situations. But I think it's an interesting discussion to have. I'm just gonna let you guys know that I think the potential is there for pork to start out producing and becoming a deal where you see guys winning tournaments on it and the sales going through the roof. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that it's too old school and it's never gonna happen? Um, personally, as much as I fish jigs, as uh, much as I use pork and plastic both, um, I'm pretty excited to see what the future would hold there. I, would, I wish I had some design, or some type of a hand in designing pork so I think I could Come up with some pretty good, pretty good things that look pretty good on the back of the jig. 
But anyway, the main thing of this video, I wanted to get a conversation started. Shoot me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, a lot of you dudes out there that aren't very old, you probably don't have much experience in pork because you haven't had it available to use. But all the guys out there that have been fishing for uh, 20 plus years, you guys know what I'm talking about. And um, I'd, I'd be curious to hear everybody's opinion on that. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. You know, get back down here and, and help Elijah launch his boat a little bit more. And um, see you do. You gonna say bye to everybody? Bye everybody. Okay. I'll see you guys later. See.